All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises and honor and glory unto <clears throat> Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Rechah Korash. Yahweh will be in the true, holy, and powerful name of the Most High, who people ignorantly just call God. Yahweh Shai being the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Ba'asham means in the name, and Rechah Korash is the Holy Spirit. Spirits holy, literally translated. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well, who taught us this truth. And peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, lifting up the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai in truth, sincerity, and charity. Hey, now, um, this is a quick lesson, don't really have a title. Kind of uh, like an uplifting and exhortating lesson just to remind us to trust in the Lord and, um, you know, hope in Him. And He will deliver at the end of the day. But without further ado, we're just going to spound on it through the scriptures. The Lord will it be edifying and exhortating. This is Psalms 130 and verse 1. It says, A song of decrees, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Yahweh. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to my voice, to, like it, to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? If the Lord marked iniquities, who shall stand? No one. Hey, no one, man. Hey, the ways of sin is death. We go off continually. This flesh is wicked as all hell. Does that mean give up? Does that mean give in? No, because what? Our Lord Yahweh Shai is that, was that perfect sacrifice, and he's um, recon reconciliating us to the Lord, man. Lord will we endure. Lord will we continue to trust in him, pray to him, man. Continue to do our thing to the best of our ability. Continue to uh, um, basically exalt his name and do this work. Continue to fight the flesh. Continue to overcome and not succumb, as the elder Yaki says, man. Okay? But the point being, the, where does pride come in as well? If the Lord marked iniquities, man, that, that's why the scriptures say, Blessed is the man who the Lord has not imputed sin into, roughly paraphrasing. And hey, that's why the scriptures talk about the sure mercies of David. Right, Lord, will we we are pursuing to be the house of David? We want them sure mercies as well, and we know that the Lord is a very merciful power. The scriptures say, "As His Majesty is, so is His mercy." The scriptures say He delighteth in mercy. You know, it says uh, His mercy is from the east to the west towards them that fear Him. Basically, uh, infinite. The Lord is a very merciful power, but that doesn't mean don't do what you got to do, and that's why we have to a uh, be um. Doing these things that the Lord tells us to do. But verse 4, it says, But there is forgiveness with thee, that, that thou mayest be feared. The Lord has that forgiveness. It says, I wait for Yahweh, my soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope. The Lord's word is what we hope in. And it says, um, it says, I wait for Yahweh. This shows that we have to wait. It shows that we can't build up no black wall street. It shows that we can't get no sticks and be the big, big tough guy, the big bad wolf on the block, man. Hey, that's that's completely unscriptural. The Lord said, wait ye upon me. The Lord said, no man shall buy you. No man's going to redeem you. The Lord is going to redeem you. The Lord is our salvation. Our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to save his people. We ain't uh, going to ante up and beat them tough guys, man. We go get smoked because the Lord has it ordained that way. So you have to wait on the Lord, trust in the Lord's words. And it says we need of patience in Hebrews 10th chapter. We need of patience that after we do the will, that we uh, might receive the promise. We have to have, have that hope. Verse 6, my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watched for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. The Lord is going to redeem us man, from all our iniquities. The Lord is going to uh, gather his saints. He says he's going to beautify the meek with salvation, and that's Psalms 148. The Lord is a merciful power, and this gives us hope. This gives us great hope. 
Because the Lord ain't going to forsake his righteous men who are fighting on this earth. Two-thirds don't give a damn. The heathen are smoked already. They're through. They're not even in the equation. They can't make it at all. They're slated for uh, uh, slavery. And then they, they're going to have, they're going to be rejoicing in the kingdom after that thousand year period. But they're going to still have to pay tributes. Because it's going to be a ruling class. It's just, that's just how it's going to be. So this is what we're fighting for. And this is what's going to happen. It's no if about this. It's no maybe about this. It's no what if. No, this is going to happen. It's just what we got to put in that work. But the Lord is going to save a remnant. No matter what. The Lord is going to destroy Babylon. No matter what. The Lord is going to have mercy on people. No matter what. His people. His chosen people. No matter what. So let's push. This is Baruch 4 and 20. It says, I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he will deliver you from the power of the hand of the enemies. And that's what the Lord is doing now systematically. And on a, um, on a smaller tip, you know, with a... Um, Rather it be your personal deals, the Lord delivers us continually. Hey, we lift up them prayers, the Lord hearkens. The Lord tells us to lift up them prayers for a reason. Right? The Lord said, pray without ceasing. Hey, we have to beg the Lord. We have to constantly beg the Lord. Slock you. Hey, don't we want to get saved? Don't we want to get out of here? Don't we want to get out of them certain jams that we're in? So that's the only way out. And that's our power. Verse 22. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is coming to me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall, which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. For I send you out with mourning and weeping. But Yahweh, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like it's now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So these heathen, they look, they all, they, they, they clap, they hiss, man. They see it. They talk, they ish. They talk, they stuff. They got this and that to say. Oh, these ain't the children of Israel. These ain't this, then the third. These ain't the men. These so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird. They, they, they ain't nothing, right? They, they in captivity. They're at the bottom. They ain't in the ghettos. They ain't got nothing. They see us in this captivity. It says, so shall they shortly. The Lord said, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Shortly. The Lord said, he's not tarrying. And that John 16. So it says, so shall they short, so shall they see surely your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory. And brightness of the everlasting. They're going to see the salvation. As it talks about the wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter. This is the day that the. Uh, um, this is the day. That the former prophets were hoping for. It says that in um, Hebrews the 11th chapter. These all died in faith. Not having seen them promise. But essentially seeing them afar off. These are the days that they were waiting for. We're in these end times. We see it. So now they're going to see that. Everlasting salvation, because the scriptures say Israel will be saved with an everlasting salvation. They shall not be ashamed nor confounded. The world without end. Roughly paraphrasing Isaiah forty-five, Baruch four and twenty-five. It says, "My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. But shortly, thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So hey, endure." In Micah 7, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. We have to bear that indignation. But shortly, we're going to see these, these heathen destroyed. Surely we're going to be above these all these nations. Because in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, the Lord speaks on how, he, how we're above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. And surely we're going to see that. Surely we're going to... Um, Surely we're going to ultimately have that dominion. This is Jonah 2 and 7. It says, When my soul fainted within me, I remember Yahweh, and my prayer came in unto, in unto thee, into thine holy temple. 
They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed salvation is of Yahweh. Salvation is of our Lord Yahweh Bashem al Shai. So we have to pray to him. We have to hope in him. We have to trust in him. Not these false idols. Not these, uh, um, not ourselves. Not anything but the Lord. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. The scriptures also say, blesses the man. It's like it. It says, cursed be the man that trusts the man and make a flesh his arm. And then it says, blesses the man that he, whose hope is Yahweh. So it's blessed if your hope is our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not yourself, not your guns, not, not any of that, man. Nothing but the Lord. Because that's where salvation comes from. Because it's, it talks about that in 2 Maccabees 15. You know, the victory don't come from the host, the army, you know, the this, that, and third. But whoever the Lord see is worthy. So Lord will, hey, that was edifying and exhortating. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ruchach, Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, that duo and teach well, who taught us the truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim lifting up name. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.